then it looks for the mother, which is silica. And it always is in geothermal activity volcanoes where there's pressure and a lot of heat. This creates and forms a quartz crystal in six sides. It grows right-handed and left-handed according to the light space. It has so positive and negative as cool qualities on each of its faces. So that's where we can build more modern radios, televisions, uh, computers, watches, uh, sonar, radar. Everything that is communication comes from now. Quartz crystal. I think I heard something about they used to be mining them out of uh, Chile. I think there used to be a lot of quartz crystal like in these deserts from lightning strikes. And I dug a lot of them out of the ground, though, over time. There's probably a shitload of them still there under the sands look hard enough. Okay, first I, I, I'd like to apologize a little for my earlier rant, um, but I do have a little problem when it feels that the weight of million, 50 million people, whatever, the weight of millions of people are on my shoulders. And why I feel that is, I feel as though my government isn't doing enough, so I need to speak up. I normally won't want to speak and let things be handled as they should, but I feel as I feel as President Obama's silence on this Libya thing is deafening. His tone had no hope the other day. He he, he put him down, but he had no authority to his voice. He had no I might have a little authority, but it sounded like monotone, no hope. He didn't offer those poor people in Libya not one iota, one speck of hope, and that's wrong. But what, we have a couple hundred people waiting in a boat, protected, and we're not doing anything because we got a couple hundred people there. And there's thousands of people, hundreds of people every day dying in the streets. He's talking about going door to door next. Girl, he's talking. She's not lying. The other guy on the with Anderson Cooper, the uh, Middle East uh, guy, the ins who has the insights. He says she probably knows more than every analyst they could throw on CNN combined, because she knows the truth. You know she's not lying. You can hear stuff in people's voices when they truly believe what they're talking about. When they know what they're talking about, they're spreading truth. They're, they're, they're informing people of what's not a lie, that what is, which is true. You can feel it. You know it. And I know by what I've been hearing on the news that the government, our government's lying to us. I'm not saying Obama, people maybe above, we don't know. I like to call them they, like I said before, they might be controlling stuff. And our government kind of goes along with it. And they don't have a choice. And they got, I don't know how it works. Something's really messed up. And now we're talking about some other things. Uh, uh, pressure, putting pressure on our uh, elected officials to make sure we spend more money on military. Like half of our money, that the tax money, go to military. This is starting to look, smell fishy and fisher. But like I said earlier, man, it all comes out in the wash. But what I'm here to say is, I'm very, very disappointed in our president for not making a, a, a bigger, bolder statement. Uh, our government is sitting idly by. And what really concerns me, that boat's sitting there waiting for Gaddafi to pull him out of there. Yeah, the guy needs to live, but he needs to live face uh, war, uh, charges. All that money, whatever, how many mil billions of dollars that he's in control, it needs to be 
handed to the Libyan people. That money ends up in our pockets any which way form. That money is blood money. It's tainted money. And that makes someone in our government guilty or non-government above it or whatever. Whoever's making the choice is guilty of crimes against humanity. That money is blood money. I want no part of it. In, in my country, I don't want any part of that paying any programs that I made something like slide my way. I don't want someone that's on a program and then they do something for someone else and then it ends up someone hands me something and for help and so on. The next thing I'm associated with blood money. I don't want that shit. You know, like, I almost want to say, you know the movie Natural Born and Curious with Julia Lewis? The Indian guy, he takes him in, they have nowhere to go. He feeds them, he gives them a place to sleep. He doesn't say a word, he shows them a peyote-like substance. Oh, it opens their mind and puts them at one with nature. And then for no reason, uh, Woody Harrelson and Therese Lewis kills the guy. Really bad. I mean, you almost don't want to watch a movie is what I have. And these thoughts are so bad. And that's what I feel like they're dumb. Bad, 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 bad. What the hell, man? It's like what Bush did after Katrina, let all the people just walk the streets and drop by flies one by one. It's pitiful. I don't want any part of it. That is not the government I grew up in. It, when I grew up in the early, uh, late 60s, early 70s, man, I, I don't know, I thought the government had stood for good in the world. What happened to uh, the government I knew as a child? Uh, what I'm saying is, Obama, you have a chance to do right, and you're gonna, you're hesitating. What the heck's holding you back? This is your chance to make history. Like I said, you don't do it. We're going to take you out. We're going to find somebody that will. There's elections coming. I, I will do everything within my power. And I don't even really like the Republicans either. I don't trust them. Especially over what's going on in Wisconsin. I, I tell you what I do. Uh, I will go independent. And I will back them. I will run myself. I will uh, vote for Sarah Palin. Well, I'll find someone else that, that's better than her. Me. Because I know I know I won't uh, hurt the people of other countries or of this country. I know the difference between right and wrong. And that's all it takes. It doesn't take some great wisdom. It takes the difference between right and wrong to make this right. So, with that, um, I'm not just going to let this video be there, man. I'm not going to come on and rant and rave about I, I, I'm going to do some other things. I, I'm, uh, I have to send a website. Right now it's down a little bit. I'm going to reopen it. But anyways, it's a contest. It's called the World's Greatest Video Contest. Wait, Greatest World... Greatest Video Contest Ever. Greatest Video Contest Ever. Where am I at? Where am I at? Okay, let's, uh, okay, it's the greatest video contest ever. And it's hosted by YouTube. I wanted to ask who to be a sponsor. I guess I'll let them know they're hosting it. This is free anyway, so. And it's, uh, it runs through the summer of 2012, and of course it is directed, uh, the contest is being held for the benefit of the youth of this planet. So anything that's not being put up for it or stuff, or people beating each other up, or stupid stunts, forget it. You're not going to win. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to have you to delete it. We'll be back. I'll be back.